Hey everybody, Rich here in ye old Windows 95. And uh, for this retro video, there's a reason I'm in 95 because I'm going to show you a little tip that you can use to uh, fool, so to speak, certain websites into thinking you're running a mobile browser. So you get the mobile versions of the website automatically for most sites. Why would you want to do this? Well, you do this so that your older Windows on your vintage PC is actually usable on the modern internet. Like for example, if you try to go and log into modern Hotmail, which is a good example, it should barf me right back out. It just won't work. Well, I'm gonna, it says I can sign in. I'll try. Yeah, if I can get this stupid address type correct. I don't think it's going to work. Nope. Right there. Upgrade your browser. It will not even let you in. That sucks. So let's sign out of this. Now the workaround, as I said, is to fool Hotmail and other websites into thinking you're using a mobile browser. And the cool thing is let me just go to a blank page here blank actually will it show it on a new tab no it won't let me restart this browser so you can see what I'm talking about I am using uh, something that I've shown before which is the chameleon web browser which even works in Windows 95 gecko 2 based meaning Firefox 2 for most of you guys out there it is version 154 and they have not released a version of this browser since but that's okay because you don't need it um, you can go to the chameleon homepage if you want but they it's they haven't updated since 2010 but it doesn't matter because uh, you can use this and it'll work so anyway a, a part of this browser that's a feature is the ability to change the user agent the user agent of any web browser is the identifier so when you go to a website and it knows you're using IE or it knows you're using Firefox or Chrome or Opera or whatever you are using the reason is because the browser sends an identifier and no this is not a privacy thing it's just it it's been in web browsers ever since web browsers have existed is that it will say hi I am Chrome or hi I am IE so it's called the user agent so if we switch this out in the chameleon browser with a mobile browser agent then we're able to get the sites we couldn't get to before so if I go to startpage.com you could use Google I use start page and I search for sample mobile user agent just like that Now, on this results page, and I've been here before, obviously, as you can see, but there's a web page where it says Sample Mobile User Agents Learn the Mobile Web. And this web page, as soon as it loads up here, gives a whole bunch of user agents that I can use and modify the Chameleon browser so that it will appear to be a mobile browser as far as the internet is concerned. And I have to wait for this stupid web page to load. It never takes this long to load on a modern computer. It's because it's Windows 95, that's why. So let me go down here and use... I'll use the uh, Nokia one. Nokia 3650-1.0 up.browser slash 6.2. So I highlight, highlight and copy this. Now in Chameleon, you get to the user agent portion by going to edit and then preferences and then privacy and security on the left side and there's a tab called paranoia and you can change the default user agent string to custom and then I just paste that in. Now when I click close, as far as the internet is concerned, I'm running a mobile browser. Close. Now I'll go back to startpage.com, which I was I was there a second ago, and it delivers the mobile version because it thinks I'm running a mobile browser. If I go to msn.com, a popular homepage destination for many, it goes to the mobile site. 
if I go to hotmail.com, which I couldn't log into before, now I can because it shows the uh, mobile version of it and it does work. It's a very simple interface but it does work. If I go to gmail.com, same deal, you will get the mobile login. If I go to AOL Mail, again, same thing, you get the mobile login. Um, certain other sites will automatically deliver a mobile, I think uh, Huffington Post also will deliver a mobile version, I think. Yep, it, uh, Huffington Post slash Blackberry uh, automatically goes to that. And look how fast and easy it is compared to the normal gargantuan homepage you normally get. Even YouTube will deliver a mobile version of their site. I can't play videos in Chameleon, at least not in Windows 95. If I was running Windows 98 for this, I probably could. But whenever I try to uh, play a video, it says there's no RTSP. It's probably just the Flash thing, because uh, the Flash version I have in here is Flash 7. <laughs> because that's the highest you can go at Windows 95. You can do Flash 8 or Flash 9 in Windows 98. Yeah, I think so. But anyway, the point is is that now that I'm uh, masquerading as a mobile browser, I'm able to get to a lot more websites that I ordinarily couldn't before. So that's cool, and it extends the life of your older vintage computer because when you do this, you can get to all your stuff. And that's important because as long as you can get to it, that's all that matters. And um, it should stay this way for a while because, uh, contrary to popular belief, you know, less than 30% of North America actually has smartphones, and a lot of people are using. A lot of people are using older phones, and on a worldwide, on a global basis, there's a lot of people that are using decidedly old smartphones, like old Nokia's, old Motorola Razors, and things like that. So, what that means to you is that these mobile versions of these pages, let me try yahoo.com, see if that delivers a mobile version, and it does. Uh, anyway, the point is, is that these mobile versions sh should stay the way they are for at least a good I'm gonna guess up until maybe 2015 2017 maybe even to 2020 something like that so you can uh, use these websites instead of oh and I forgot Facebook too you go to facebook.com get the mobile login it's all good where was I oh yeah so as long as you uh, stick to mobile versions in your older Windows, whether it's Windows 95, Windows 98, and possibly Windows XP in the near future, uh, you'll be able to continue to use your older PC happily for years to come. Not many years to come, but at least a few more years. <laughs>